Hello, I'm Emily and this is Dr. Natalie Cooper and we're here in our mammals collection to talk a bit about wombats. Um, and Natalie was just telling us about why they poo little cubes. Um, and if you want to find out more about that, there should be a link in the description below. But what I was wondering is how does it work? How do they do it? It's one of those really strange things that people have been a little bit obsessed with for a really long time because they are really cute. They're like about two centimetre size cubes and they also poo maybe six or seven at once and so they'll often come out in little cubes stuck on top of each other a bit like sugar cubes um, some people say although don't think you want to put them in your tea. Um, but the way we think this is happening and this is the most recent research on this is you know most things when they're pooing they're pooing through a tube and um, as you were telling me earlier you know your favorite phrase is that it comes out like a tube of toothpaste uh, whereas what we think is happening in the wombats is that they have these tubes but two sides are really stiff material and two sides are more flexible so that's pushing the poo down but also keeping it in this kind of slightly cubic um, shape and at the same time they tend to lose a lot of water because they live in very arid environments they want to reabsorb all of that into their bodies so the water goes back in and the drying out process also seems to make them more cube shaped than you would expect um, it's not because they have a cubic butthole which is what some people have suggested in the past I mean that's it's an interesting field of, of study to, to find out that a wombat poos cues, but is there a reason we would want to know why they do this? Like, is it important or is it just a fun fact? Um, I mean, it is a fun fact, and I don't think we should uh, downplay the importance of fun facts, um, but um, it's being used a lot in engineering. So a lot of the people who work on this, are, rather than zoologists, they're engineers, because they're fascinated by how can something circular create this cube shape. Um, there's also been some talk about using it to think about digestive health, so things like colon cancer, perhaps understanding how the gut moves in a wombat might help us with thinking about how the gut moves in humans as well. Um, but I would say that the key importance is that it's a really cool fact. I mean, speaking of facts and fun facts, what else is it about them that makes them so amazing? Um, well, there's lots of really cool things about wombats. Uh, they are burrowers, so they live in burrows and they're always excavating them with their really sharp claws. And they've also got these amazing teeth that they use for that, which you can see on the skull. And these teeth continue growing their entire lives, um, same way that rodents do. So they're really sharp, and really good at digging things. Another really cool adaptation they have because they're always digging is that they have a pouch um, where they keep their young because they're marsupials, but the pouch opens to the back. Um, and that's so that they're not sort of always completely filling the poor pouch and the, the baby with, with the bits of dirt. And so the baby's always facing outwards. And so obviously this will have evolved um, through natural selection because the ones with the pouch that face the other way are obviously gonna have more trouble with their digging and more trouble with their babies. Uh, another really cool thing they have that's related to the burrowing is they've got really, really hard butts. Uh, so their pelvis bones are fused together and then there's cartilage around those. And so what they use their really hard butt for is if a predator chases them into a burrow, they can use their butt to block the entrance and stop the predators getting in. So again, this would evolve by natural selection because the ones without the hard butts were probably getting eaten, whereas the ones with the harder butts were able to survive and have more babies. Um, there's no truth, it seems, sadly, to the, the idea that they use their butt to crush the skulls of predators that chase after them. Natalie, that was amazing. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed learning about the wonderful world of wombats. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment to let us know what your favourite wombat fact was. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe because we've got loads more natural history content to share with you.